These, the recent cyber attacks against MGM and Clorox are bringing the importance of cybersecurity into the spotlight. Joining us with what companies and investors should be watching for in this space is Suresh Fasu Davin, CEO of Sysig. Suresh, thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. So cyber attacks certainly front and center making the spotlight. I, I mentioned Clorox and MGM uh, both down about 15, 16 uh, percent just uh, this month alone. Uh, also, Caesar is down about 16 percent. We know they also had a cyber attack as well. Why are we seeing this uptick in cases and who are these bad actors that are responsible? Yeah, across all of these, what you're seeing in the case of MGM, it was a group called Scattered Spider that launched a uh, ransomware attack against MGM Grand. It looks very much like the same group was responsible for ransomware against Caesars. In the case of Clorox, while the perpetrating entity is not known, it feels very much like a ransomware attack. And so you're seeing more and more instances where social engineering, where you obtain credentials of an IT user to get access to the systems and then start holding the companies to ransom have definitely gone up significantly. So when it comes to the fallout from these attacks, Clorox already warned of a material impact from the attack. They're still dealing with it. They don't report earnings until November, so we won't get more clarity for a little while. Jefferies, though, has estimated it could cost Caesars and MGM millions in dollars in lost revenue. Uh, talk to us just a, a bit more about the fallout that these potential attacks could have on companies. Indeed. Um, what, what, first off, what you're witnessing is that it's very frequent that social engineering is used to first gain access to the systems. Secondly, what's very different um, over the last few quarters and years is that once an attacker gains access to the systems, because increasingly you're deploying cloud-connected applications, the initial insertion quickly lends itself to lateral movement where, gain, where they gain access to more and more critical applications and IT infrastructure. So at that point, as they turn around and hold the company for ransom, the company faces two choices like Caesars, pay a ransom, expensive at 15 million, or try and defend against ransom as MGM did, but in some instances that ex ends up being more expensive. In the case of MGM, it's tens of millions of dollars over nearly 10 days. And so really the risks here are initial access to systems is easy, but more importantly, once attackers get in, their ability to spread to more critical applications is causing more and more data to be held at ransom. And so you're facing a really difficult choice as a company. But in terms of the why behind why they're doing this, how much of it has to do with these ransom payments and just demanding money? And how much of it has to do with just wanting to disrupt? Yeah, so I would say that if you look across a pattern of attacks, not just these, but across a large number of attacks, attacks have been on increase. Uh, in fact, cyber insurance has gone up 50% last year. But typically, the motivations are two or threefold. The first one tends to be financial gain. I believe that's still the most common motivation for most of these attacks. The second one is indeed operational disruption. But often, if you look behind the operational disruption, the motivation and still being establishing a reputation as a ransomware group or as a crypto miner group so that the next time you attack someone, they're more likely to pay your ransom. And so operational disruption still tends to have financial gain. The last one tends to be things like IP theft, where you're looking for intellectual property or often these are nation state actors looking for valuable data that you can steal, not necessarily for financial gain, but for your own sort of benefit, if you will. So what advice do you have for companies who are concerned about potentially being attacked? What can they do to be proactive instead of reactive? Yeah, this is a difficult question. There are many, many areas that you have to focus on. But at the very least, you, you will see security investments going up on the part of most companies. And at least there are two areas that are coming across as common uh, things that people will have to invest more in. First, I think humans are the weak element. Most of these attacks begin with social engineering. And so more investment in training and investment in access management, especially for privileged admins, is going to be important. Second, a lot of the tools for detection and incident response have been centered around more traditional on-premise applications. But as companies are moving more and more 
of their applications and automating their business in the cloud, com most companies will have to invest more in detection and incident response around their cloud applications. There's a different set of tools and technologies than, than traditional on-premise applications, I would say. And what would you say the implications for investors are? Cybersecurity is going to continue to be a line item on the, on the, the balance yeah, sheets, think, despite companies yeah. needing to tighten budgets? Yeah, I would say there are two things, Nicole. First, I think you are going to see more disclosures with the SEC's new regulations around disclosures. Investors are going to see more and more cyber attacks being brought into the public domain. That's a pattern that we will not be able to avoid. I will also say, secondly, investments by companies to protect themselves, whether it's defensive investments or training or more tools, you'll also see cybersecurity becoming a more and more important line item. You'll even see companies starting to establish a cyber risk committee, I believe, over time, much like they have an audit committee. It's becoming a big enough source of concern that dedicated risk committees on the boards of companies will start to get formed, I believe. You also expect the M&A landscape to heat up for cybersecurity. Tell us why. Yeah, I mean, in fact, just a couple of days ago, you saw an announcement by Cisco uh, to acquire Splunk, and I think this is just the beginning. Cybersecurity is becoming such an important investment from a technology standpoint that you're going to see larger companies want to have a bigger presence in their security offerings. Larger tech companies wanting to build their portfolio for cybersecurity. On the part of customers, there's a tendency to want to deploy consolidated security solutions rather than lots of point solutions. They want to do business with a few larger portfolio companies, if you will. And so that's going to prompt companies in cybersecurity to build out their portfolio, which will in turn, again, lead to more m and I believe. All right, Suresh Vasudevan, really appreciate your expertise in this space. Thanks for shedding light on it. My pleasure, thanks for having me. That was the CEO of Sysdig.